Way too much flex, flex. not enough hustle. hustle Things are working out, yeah. I got it off the muscle yeah. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle yeah. But now they looking cause they know now cause I'm steady drinking and driving Man, this lick is in my liver Man, I'm feeling kinda sick in about a minute Bitch, I'm with it What up, bro? I'm D-Blaze with People's Champ Entertainment We out of fucking Paxville, South Carolina More or less Manning, South Carolina Connected with Sumter You know, Mo Beats and everything, man Shout out to the ATL, man I was just out there doing a track with an illustrator Shout out to them They got some fucking dope-ass producers Had a good-ass time out there Fucking love the state Love the city For real So what's up, man? Man, what's good, man? I'm glad to have you on DME TV, man. It's good day out here to be with you, man. I like what you're saying, man. I love all that what you're saying, man. It's good, man. It's good. I like how you kept it going right there. So, what's, what inspired you to be a rapper? Man, to be honest with you, rapping, it really just releases my soul, mostly. Like, really, I'm only doing that shit. Like, I ain't really in it for, like, bitches and clubs and shit like that and money. Like, I'd like to make money on my shit, because, I mean, that's shit that I've been through, but, like, I like to speak about shit that just really hits me in my heart. You know what I mean? But I have to mix it with everything else, because, you know, the industry is growing. You got a fucking a lot of retarded ass shit. But I'm trying to make that shit back to what real rap was and what real poetry is. Cause you know I'm just really into that shit. I lost both my parents, Whoa. and you know, like, man, I gotta, I gotta have a way to release that. It ain't really because I lost both my parents, but I've been struggling from a young ass age, seeing a lot of shit that I shouldn't have. But fuck it, cause I'm here doing my own shit. I'm only 19, got all my own shit. I'm fucking making tracks. I'm out here with a whole mixtape, only pushing like four songs, cause all them shits hitting. And yo, I'm out here doing it for my family. Me and whoever coming with me, you feel me? I like that. I like that. I really like that. That's my way, bro. I really like that, man. Keep going, keep crying, man. I know what you're coming from. I know what your mama did it. You know what I mean, I'm in the same boat, man. I like that in my family. I'm doing the same thing with my music, doing the same way. I love what you're saying right there. So, what, what studio you go to? I be hitting it up here with TNT XD. And he's up here in Sucker, and I'll be fucking with Zoe Black up in Columbia, and he's hard as fuck. And the last producer I fuck with, like I said, it was the illustrators out in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, that's pretty much who I'd be fucking with. I got 14. Uh, yeah, what you need to go to the studio? What, I, what you need? What you need to get before you be on the track? Like, what's make it? What make you drop you? Be you? Like, swear that? Be you, man? What's make you? What make you you? <laughs> blaze, man. I can't. I can't really say shit else, man. I'm, so you, I'm blaze. So you just roll up, get right. Man, fuck. Man, at a young age, I was fucking around with some little shit. Oh, I started rolling up. You already know how that is. Fucking freshman year in high school. And you know, yeah, that's just something that really took a lot from me and it just chilled me out. So I use it as medication and that's how it's supposed to be, man. I ain't trying to get high. I ain't sniffing no glue and shit, man. I'm just blazed, man. I like the smoke. It chills me the fuck out. So what you really want out of this rap game? What you hype for you see yourself in a couple more years? Man. How far you want to be? How far you want to stay stabbers in the rap game? I want to be as far as I can be. And really, all I want is to be heard. And you know? And if it's like that, and if we making money, I want to part it. I mean, that's how it is. And it's just business. But also, I just want to be heard. That's where it really started from until I learned that I had to be a performer. That I had to get in front of cameras like right now. And I'm being completely real with you. But my music's me. And if you like me, then ask for me. How you know I like it. I saw that energy flow in front of my face. Yeah. I told you right there, you're hot, man. You're hot. Hey, so I can feel the pain in your struggle. If I answer this question, though, you gonna go out there and get what it takes? I do it every day. I've been doing it since I was young. You already know. I mean, I'm 19 and all my own shit, like I said. My own car, house I pay for, fucking lights, water. I pay for all my own shit. Yeah, I get small handouts every once in a while. What we'll inspire you to do music? Man, like I said, well, you put us some real funny shit. I used to rock school with my mom in the morning, right? We bumping rap music. And I rap over and be like, Mom, yo, look at this, all that shit. And then I kind of figure out that I can do it. And I just learned from a young age how to really. I've told people this because they've actually asked me how to rap and shit. And it's really just practice, but I learned that the more that I fucking practice, the further I get with it. And I've learned more things that I've done, more ways to channel it. 
and really what really inspired me is to know that I could channel whatever like entity that I want to like blaze rolling up or how I'm feeling or how I'm gonna be like like one of the songs that I got is more of like a twisted song and it's called underrated I might do that tonight but it's basically a story foretold because everybody really underrates it but the way that it's been like it basically tells how I moved up and I dropped that as my second song and that was the second song I ever did in the studio and like I said I've been out since October so I'm really really trying to move and push this shit you know just trying to be taken serious like anybody else what kind of beats you like to rap on? I like a Wiz type beat I like a Gucci type beat I like a any old Tupac type beat. I like boom baps. Uh, anything fast and aggressive. Um, anything with like trumpets. Nice, flow, old school. I like old school flows. It's a pretty fucking dope. And uh, but Khalifa beats, really. I like Khalifa beats. Other than the ones I've been making now, because they're more tropical type, but I like old. Um, <laughs> Your fans up, cuz. Your fans up. It's good, man. It's good, man. Bro, like, the Khalifa beats are dope, but the ones that were, like, back in, like, 2014, 2015, before he dropped 28 grams and shit like that, like, Cabin Fever. Well, hey. I see you doing your thing. You got people riding by and want to scream your name and stuff, man. So that's good and stuff. So you doing your thing, man. So, hey. What kind of artists you want to work with in the industry? Out of all the artists in the industry, the one you want to do some work with? I mean, I don't right now. I'd like to work with some of the older artists, really. Got more sense. You don't want to give a shout out to anybody? Um, shout out to Banning, South Carolina, People's Champ Entertainment. <laughs> you know all my fans on Facebook and shit. I know y'all gonna see this because as soon as I get it, I'm gonna share that shit. You already know, shout out to my family, shout out to my mom and dad. Okay. Also, shout out to the ATL, shout out to South Cat, bro. You already know, it's Steve Blaze. We out this bitch. Yeah. He said, "Shout out DMTV." That's all I, <laughs> man, I got I one more. I got one more thing for you. Man, man I can't do that shit. D. Say D. D. M. M. E. E. T. T. V. <laughs> D M E T V. You not? <laughs> Never know what's in the duffel Way too much flex, flex. not enough hustle uh, Things are working out, yeah. I got it off the muscle uh -huh. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle yeah. But now they looking cause they never know what's in the duffel